Traore is ready for anything and anyone. Recently, there have been several assassination attempts on the life of important political figure Ibrahim Traore, prompting him to bolster his security and increase military spending to safeguard himself and his administration. Traore has implemented a range of security measures with the assistance of Russian President Vladimir Putin. In today's video, we will explore the specifics of these occurrences, Traore's steps to increase military spending, and the heightened security measures. Additionally, we will provide insights into the amount the Burkina Bay government spent on military equipment in 2023. But before we continue, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the new channel so you get notified whenever we upload. Ibrahim Traore has gained popularity both nationally and beyond since taking the helm in Burkina Faso. However, numerous attempts on his life underscore the challenges he faces as the country's leader. In the most recent attempt, gunshots were heard near the presidential residence. Protesters gathered in the heart of Ouagadougou and vowed to support President Traore's government, asserting that shots had been fired earlier in the afternoon close to the presidential residence. In response to these threats, Traore has decided to tighten security and increase military spending. With Putin's assistance, Traore is implementing several measures to fortify his security apparatus. These efforts are not only focused on personal safety, but also aim to enhance the overall security infrastructure of Burkina Faso. The reasons behind Traore's decision to strengthen security are multifaceted. The increasing instability and threats to his administration necessitate robust security measures. Additionally, the geopolitical dynamics and regional security concerns compel him to ensure that Burkina Faso is well-equipped to handle any potential threats. The increased military spending and procurement of advanced equipment are part of a broader strategy to secure the nation and stabilize the region. The Burkina Bay government's expenditure on military equipment in 2023 reflects this commitment to security marking a significant increase aimed at modernizing and enhancing the capabilities of the National Defense Forces. Traore seeks to distance his country from the influence of the U.S. and France, instead aligning with other powerful allies to fortify the nation. His stance has led to condemnation from Western counterparts, culminating in his decision to suspend BBC and Voice of America radio stations for their coverage of a Human Rights Watch report. The report accused the Burkina Bay Armed Forces of killing over 223 civilians, including 56 minors, in areas suspected of collaborating with militants. This incident was widely reported by international media, including the Associated Press. Western media have also spread claims that Traore has silenced his adversaries and eliminated rivals. On January 27, 2024, Burkina Faso, along with Mali and Niger, announced plans to withdraw from the ECOWAS, despite efforts at reconciliation. Many believe Traore is the driving force behind these moves, which further distances the country from Western influence. Traore's greatest challenges may stem from his alliances with Russia, Turkey, and Iran. France and the United States have expressed displeasure with these developments. In May, as part of Turkey's support in combating terrorism, Burkina Faso's military leaders received a fresh consignment of military drones. The Burkinabe Army acquired at least two Akinci model drones and three TB2 model drones, totaling around 12 combat drones. These drones, supplied by the Turkish company Baykar Technologies, are part of a broader effort to enhance Burkina Faso's military capabilities. The shifting alliances and increased military support reflect Traoré's strategy to strengthen Burkina Faso's sovereignty and security. Iran's ambassador to Burkina Faso, Mava Farhadi, recently met with Burkina Faso's foreign minister to discuss expanding cooperation in various fields, such as economy, science, culture, and technology. The discussions highlighted Burkina Faso's participation in the Iran Expo 2024 and the development of bilateral trade and economic ties. The Burkinabe foreign minister noted that commercial and economic relations between Tehran and Ouagadougou are growing. During the conference, it was decided that relevant organizations would be tasked with following up on documents signed at the first Joint Economic, Scientific, Cultural, and Technological Commission. President Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso is leaving no stone unturned in his quest to strengthen his nation's ties and bolster its development. Traore has also openly criticized older African leaders who he perceives as Western puppets 
blaming them for sinking Africa into poverty and despair. This outspoken stance has earned him both admirers and detractors. Traoré's commitment to his country's sovereignty and development has made him a target for those who oppose his policies and vision for Burkina Faso. Traoré's incorruptible nature and dedication to Burkina Faso, which translates to the land of incorruptible people, have gained him respect and support from allies such as Russian President Vladimir Putin. In light of multiple attempts on Traoré's life, Putin has pledged to enhance the Burkinabe leader's security to prevent him from meeting the same fate as Thomas Sankara, a former Burkinabe revolutionary leader. During a recent visit to Burkina Faso, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov announced that Russia would send more military instructors to the country. Lavrov stated that Russian instructors are already working in Burkina Faso and that their numbers would increase. These instructors are training members of Burkina Faso's armed forces and law enforcement agencies. Lavrov made these statements in the capital city of Ouagadougou, accompanied by Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov. Traoré has emphasized his priority of building up security amidst an ongoing and deadly internal conflict. The Norwegian Refugee Council reported that Burkina Faso's death toll from violence more than doubled over the past year. Hundreds of people have already lost their lives in attacks in 2024, including over 170 in three villages in March and about 30 in separate strikes on mosques and churches in February. The Norwegian Refugee Council has labeled Burkina Faso plagued by violence as the world's most overlooked displacement issue for the second year in a row. The aid agency estimated that over 2 million people will be internally displaced and 6.3 million people in the nation will require humanitarian assistance this year. For years, U.S. officials have warned about China's and Russia's efforts to increase their influence in Africa. In 2019, General Thomas Waldhauser, the former head of U.S. Africa Command, claimed that Russia was using arms sales and mercenaries to gain access to natural resources in Africa. Russia, isolated from much of the world since its invasion of Ukraine, appears to be resuming its diplomatic efforts on the continent. Africa Command alerted Congress again in early March of this year that Russia was actively trying to establish more influence throughout Africa and several nations were on the brink of doing so. In 2023, Burkina Faso's military leaders spent around a billion dollars, over 600 billion CFA francs, on military equipment purchases. This information was shared by the Minister of Economy, Abubakar Nakabo, in an interview. Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the transitional president of Burkina Faso and head of the country's armed forces, handed over a significant amount of military and logistical equipment to the Defense and Security Forces at the beginning of this month. The items included weapons, ammunition, and military engineering equipment like excavators, transport trucks, and armed vehicles. We must fight a war to have peace because we live in a predatory environment. Thus, let us go to war, stated Traoré, who also serves as chief of staff of the armed forces. Notably, Russia reopened its embassy in Burkina Faso last year after it had been closed since 1992. These alliances have created opportunities for international collaboration and understanding. By facilitating trade, investment, and cultural exchange, Burkina Faso has increased its influence and growth potential. By positioning itself as a major participant in the international arena and forging strong diplomatic ties, the country is well positioned to benefit from greater cooperation as it expands its network of international partnerships, paving the way for a successful future. Burkina Faso is demonstrating its commitment to development and international engagement through its efforts to build bridges and cultivate significant relationships. Ibrahim Traoré has a bold vision for Burkina Faso. He envisions a prosperous, stable, and united country where every citizen has the opportunity to realize their full potential. He is also committed to resolutely combating terrorism and insecurity that have plagued certain regions of Burkina Faso. To achieve this, he promotes a comprehensive security approach involving enhanced regional cooperation and the development of intelligence capabilities. He aims to create jobs, reduce poverty, and improve the living conditions of the population. Traoré embodies the hope for a better Burkina Faso, and his ambitious vision and unwavering commitment to his country will hopefully lead Burkina Faso toward a more prosperous, secure, and unified future. Burkina Faso, Russia, Iran, and Turkey stand to gain much from increased trade and economic ties. This may result in more opportunities for investment, job creation, 
technology transfer, and economic diversification. It can also support the development of people-to-people -people relationships, cultural exchanges, and diplomatic links, deepening mutual understanding and respect between the countries. Even if there are challenges along the way, these countries must confront them with a cooperative mindset and a common goal of mutual gain. Through continuous communication, cooperation, and knowledge sharing, Russia and Burkina Faso will establish a strong relationship for a productive and long-lasting economic partnership. Traoré's efforts show his determination to keep himself and his country safe. By strengthening security, he makes it clear to his enemies that there will be consequences for attempting to harm him. His dedication to strengthening national defense, ensuring the security of his citizens, and maintaining the stability of his government is reflected in the increasing military budget. The decision to seek help from Putin has raised eyebrows and invited speculation, given the controversial nature of the Russian leader. However, Traoré understands the value of alliances in a world where danger can lurk everywhere. He recognizes that international cooperation is often essential in battling common foes, and he values the assistance and knowledge that allies can provide. Do you think Ibrahim Traoré will stand firm in the face of adversity, ready to defend himself and his nation with unwavering resolve? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications too, so you get notified whenever we upload videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.